I'm going to the Naga workshop and I came to park to get on the bus and this is where I am. It quite literally looks like something. Oh my God. Straight out of a fucking horror film. I have no idea where I am. Oh, and the bus is about to leave soon. Oh, Jesus. I'm on. I just missed the bus. The bus stop is here. I parked right there and got lost. I want to break down, but I'm just not going to break down. I was very overwhelmed and very upset. I was at the bus stop screaming, but then I just decided to book the next bus, which was an hour later, because the workshop was worth it. I felt it in my soul that it would be worth it. All right, guys, I'm finally in New York. And do I'm basically going to be late to the workshop. So I don't know how big they are on like tardiness. So we shall see. Calls, then you're going to have PMI, private mortgage insurance. I probably would have came out of pocket at that time, 2016, maybe like around 37,000, right? Out of my pocket, I would have to come to the closing table with there really were substantial abuses within the industry which wound up causing people to lose their homes for no legitimate reason. It is a wake-up call to Congress. This nationwide battle took four and a half years. It included demonstrations and confrontations wherever Fleet was active. We won the war. So make sure that you upload a legible ID, right? We got that? W2 guys, you guys are with me? Okay, next thing is they're gonna want your current 30-day pay stubs. You guys are writing this notes down in the back of your notebook? 30 days of your pay stubs, right? Your current 30-day pay stubs. If you get paid bi-weekly, you're gonna upload your last two pay stubs. If you get paid every week, you're gonna upload your last four pay stubs. If you get paid every month, you're gonna upload your current pay stub, right? Now, very important, right? When you're uploading your documentation, you want to make sure that all of the documents are PDF, right? So, I get this all the time. Well, the job only mails me the pay stub. I can't get it online, right? Um, that's okay. Um, we want you to first go online if you have like an ADP or wherever your employee site is to get your pay stub as a PDF. Wherever the site is, you want to go to that site Pull up the documentation. Don't take a picture of it. Don't take a screenshot of it. Pull up the PDF. Save it as a PDF to your desktop computer, right? You can put it in your NACA folder, right? And then you're gonna upload it to your web portal, right? So now, if they mail you the pay stub, right? They don't have a site or something like that, and they, they, they mail it to you, right? You can, if you, now you have to, if you, have, if you don't have a computer, but if you do have a computer, you want to scan the document, save it as a PDF, and then upload it to your portal, right? Now, you might have to, if you don't have a computer, I would go to Best Buy and buy one of those cheap ones for $100, a little Chromebook, right? I would get a scanner for like $50, or um, I would go to a library. I would go to a family friend's house, right? Um, on your phone, right? You can download the app to PDF uh, editor or creator, right? They have all these different apps where at that point you can take a picture of the pay stub, but you want to convert it to a PDF, right? After you convert it to a PDF, then you're going to upload it to your web portal. You guys with me? Right. 30 day pay stubs. Next, you're going to need is your last two years of your W-2s, PDF, right? 2021, 2022, um, 2023 should be coming out, right? 2020, we're gonna start asking for 2023 W-2s by the end of January 31st. So after January 31st, in the portal, it's gonna require, it's a requirement for 2023 W-2s, all right? So it's the last two years of your W-2s. You guys got that? All right. The next thing that you're going to need to upload in the portal are the last two years of your 1040 tax returns. 
You guys are with me? Yeah? Okay, so does everyone know what the tax returns are, right? You get your W-2s from your employer, you bring it to your tax preparer, the tax preparer files the ta taxes, they give you like the packet, and then you have your packet of your 1040 tax returns. We need all of the pages of those tax returns. What happens, right? So a lot of the times when I meet with a, a, a member, they'll, when I look at the file, I only see one page of the tax return. They just took a picture of the front page and they uploaded that. No, we need the whole packet. So that means right now, you wanna start calling your tax preparer and say, hey, I'm going through a program, I need you to email me my tax returns, PDF. That way you can save it to your computer, then upload it to your web portal, all right? The last two years of the 1040 tax returns. You guys are with me? Okay, the next thing that you're gonna get are your last two years, they're called the tax return transcripts. Tax return transcripts. Now, the only way for you to get this document is for you to go onto the IRS website. I therefore pledge to stand with NACA. I therefore pledge to stand with NACA. In the pursuit of this mission. In the pursuit of this mission. I will participate in at least five actions and activities a year. I will participate in at least five actions and activities a year. Y'all, the train is almost here. I'm heading back. I haven't eaten all day. I haven't had anything to drink. I am super duper thirsty. Someone on YouTube said that the train only took two hours. Not the train, the workshop. And that was a lie. I thought I would be out of there. No, it's, it's going to take your entire four hours. I'm happy you made it this far into the video. I will be doing a separate video reacting to the workshop. So see you next time. Bye.